I pray that we will live up to his example. I pray that I will live up to his example. I fall short so often. We should make sure the future is written by us. And if we do, we won't just keep creating good new jobs for decades to come. We'll make sure that this century is another all-American century. And as we speak, China is trying to write the rules for trade in the 21st century. That would put our workers and our businesses at a massive disadvantage. We can't let that happen. It's a real problem. But when you look at what's going on with the country, and I say it all the time, we don't have victories anymore. We used to have victories. We used to be great. And my whole theme is make America great again. A strong military. And so our position needs to be to re-engage with a strong military and a strong presence. We can't disengage in the world and expect a good result. As we pull back, voids are filled. Iraq is the best example of that. So where to from here? It's what it is. We have to. But you can't be great if you don't have a border. You can't. No matter what you do. And you can't be great if China's taking all our jobs. You know, we've rebuilt China. China's made so much money. And as we speak, China is trying to write the rules for trade in the 21st century. China's made so much money. We have so we have such power over China. China's made so much money. So much money. So much money. So 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 much money. But we have leaders that don't know what they're doing. I mean, we have trade deals with China, with Mexico, with Japan. In Japan, boats come, the biggest boats I've ever seen. I just left Los Angeles. The biggest boats I've ever seen. Thousands of cars, millions of cars coming in. The king comes asking for support. I've yet to see. Perhaps it went covertly, but I haven't heard anything. Israel? Israel, for sure. Turkey, all of these countries have doubts about America. We get nothing. We get cars. They get, we want to send rice. We want to send corn. They have protesters. We don't send. The, the imbalance of these things. I mean, they send a car and we send corn. Believe me. A lot of corn to make up for a car. And they don't want, they won't even take our product. And then we think that we're not dealing from strength. We have all the strength. With, with China, a friend of mine who's a manufacturer says it's impossible to deal with them. He's a great manufacturer, smart, tough, makes an incredible product. He said, I can't get the product in. And when I do, they charge me a surtax. I said, what is it? How much? 42%. I said, you got to be kidding. This is a great story. He goes, oh, don't get me involved. I don't want to be involved. They don't want to be involved. But they charge him a surtax. We don't charge surtax. They manipulate the hell out of their currency. And by the way, I love China. I sell apartments for 10, 15, 25 million from people like from China. The largest bank in the world is from China. They're my tenant in one of my buildings. They're my tenant. Number one, we need to put boots on the ground. <laughs> 10,000 is what General Jack Green team testified to. 10,000 to coordinate airstrikes, to provide advice, training, and intelligence. And yes, we need to do airstrikes, not five or 10 a day, not a public relations stunt that the president is doing today. Another trillion dollar mark on the debt. Nothing new. It's still another to ignore these scary fiscal developments and stay this titanic course. We are in deep ship, my friends. Wireless communication networks and smartphones with the industrial revolution. We transcended the limitations of our muscles. With the digital revolution, we transcended the limitation of our minds. With the biotechnology revolution, we will transcend the limitations of biology by turning the software of life into something that is programmable. We will upgrade biology. With the nanotech revolution, we will transcend the limits of matter by patterning atoms the same way we pattern bits of information in the digital space. But we need to take serious destroying ISIS.